mean, the mascot journey has, has, has been quite incredible over the last three years. We've won multiple awards, we've worked across the UK and Ireland, and we've done and achieved more than, than we ever thought we would. This building for me is, is the pinnacle. I'm here at the FX building, uh, right in the heart of Belfast City Centre and um, I am so impressed um, by the quality and standard, um, not only of the build itself but also of the fit out. Um, the quality um, just uh, ratchets up at two or three levels from what we're used to. Well this building has setting new standards in Belfast for this market. Um, to have all these very high quality shared spaces, the communal lounge, the gymnasium, the rooftop garden, etc. This is new to the market in Belfast. So for us, it was very important for us to be part of that, to be part of that vision that the client had and to assist him in delivering that vision. So to achieve these levels of quality, no matter how well organised you are, is difficult. It takes an awful lot of attention to detail and it takes very much pride in the job from everybody in the team. So I found that a very important role that I was doing was to try and deliver that throughout the whole team. It was up to me very much to lead the team, to let the team see that these were the standards we wanted to set and make sure that everybody bought in to that vision so we could deliver it. Belfast and Northern Ireland as a region has a, has a, has a phenomenal skill set. Uh, yes, we've lost a lot of, a lot of that skill set uh, that have travelled to the UK, but a lot of the guys that they're in with early engagement with supply chain, it's this, it, it is there. Our client had the foresight, which I would say it's the first in Belfast, if not Northern Ireland, um, for the building and the specification of the building. You only have to look at the surroundings we're in today to see this is the residence lounge. And whenever you did a like-minded team and products that were sourced well in advance and detailing, um, again, it was just it was down to the deliverables and timing. During uh, the, the economic downturn, a lot of our um, construction companies and fit-out companies um, went to London um, and other parts of these islands. Um, many more of them now are working back here again um, in Belfast. Um, and of course we have really fantastic craftsmanship um, that has come from this place that we've been exporting to, to other places. Um, we're now seeing that um, through the investment that's happening back in Belfast again, um, that those crafts not only are being um, regenerated here um, in the city, but we are um, keeping more of our, our local uh, tradesmen etc at home. And of course that can be seen, um, great examples in this building in terms of what Mascot has done. The mascot team work daily with the stakeholders, local residents, uh, the local authorities every single day to, to ensure that our deliveries or our work methods are done safely and effectively. Uh, that takes time and it takes a very knowledgeable team to do that. This was an extremely challenging site. This is basically a postage stamp in the city centre of Belfast. So materials had to be delivered on time on a regular basis. So all of that in itself was a whole process in the background. So we actually had a, our planner in the office dealing very closely with the site team to plan the deliveries of the supply chain, all the subcontractors, the materials. So there was a whole process going on very much in the background to ensure that what happened on site happened on time to the right standards.